running around with debt and they ain't got no job, man. And eventually they end up homeless. That's, that's the reality here in America. It says, thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance on thee. So I, I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, host is his name, the Holy One of Israel. See, and this is what you, you damn devils forgot, man. You forgot that Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai exists. And you forgot that he is a power that judges in the earth, man. All the wickedness that you've done, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai is addressing it. You, you Edomites, you so-called white people here in this country, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai is addressing the wickedness that you have committed throughout the, uh, you know, your, your time ruling, man. Well, we was, you know, talking to an Edomite. Uh, you know, he came up to the camp and he tried to say there's good Edomites. Well, if there's good Edomites out there, why is your Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shai bringing judgment upon all of you, man? <laughs> you ain't good in the sight of the Heavenly Father. He ain't gonna spare none of you devils, man. It's just as for our Redeemer, the Lord, Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shai, hosts his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldees. For thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdoms. You're not the top kingdom on the earth no more. People are looking to other nations, you know, to, to model their society after after them. Because look, this is what happens if you follow in America's footsteps. You're going to have homeless people all in the cities, man. Crime is going to go up, you know. Verse 6 says, I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. And who are the people of the Lord? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that you put in hardcore bondage, man. And didn't show any mercy to us. It says, I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. We didn't get no mercy from you damn devils. You all didn't know that the, the damn Edomite. He said, oh, those devils, good Edomites. There were no good Edomites. The scriptures say you didn't show us no mercy, man. Upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke, and thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever. I'm always be in power. I'm always be at the top, right? And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart. So you didn't take into account, I'm going to be judged for the wicked things that I'm doing to these people. The most high going to get me. Yeah, that wasn't in your mind. That's why you went hard. You know, you wasn't worried about consequences, man. That's why you didn't show no mercy. You said in your mind, I ain't got to pay for nothing that I do to these people because the Lord is jacking their ass up. The Most High has chosen me. Why would why would you show people mercy that uh, you feel is condemned by the Heavenly Father forever, man? You're you, you going to do whatever you want to him. It says, Now said this, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. See, and now you you getting your comeuppance. For the, the wickedness that you've committed, now you're being judged for it, man. And you don't know why these things are happening, but we're here to tell you why these things are happening. Because the wickedness that you have perpetrated, mainly against the nation of Israel, man. But also, the wickedness that you have spread out throughout the four corners of the earth. You on the hit list, so you hop on Shimei Shai. The Most High don't take kindly to your country that you have established. He don't like this place, man. And he don't like you damn devils. So what is he doing? He's jacking you up. And ultimately, the last judgment that he's going to bring down upon you is he's going to rain thermonuclear missiles on you. This is uh, Baruch this is, uh, 4 and 25. It says, My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High, for thine enemy hath persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and tread upon his neck. And we're seeing the beginning stage of that, man. Yahweh Shai is literally breaking this country down, man. But what do we read? In, uh, Isaiah said the city of confusion is broken down. That's what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is doing. Taking the wealth away from these people, man. That opulence that these Americans had is gone. Okay? They can't even afford to buy a, a house with a white picket fence no more, man. That's completely through. They're addicted to drugs. You know? It says, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and tread upon his neck. My delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemy. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the Most High, for ye shall be remembered of him that bought these things upon you. See, and this is comforting to us because we understand who the, uh, you know is responsible for jacking this.
this damn devil up. And we know why it's happening, man. The most high is doing this because we're calling out unto him. This is basically, you know, uh, the most high showing us that he's still dealing with us. He's bringing our enemies down, man. Because he's getting ready to have the ultimate mercy upon us and put us back in the power seat, man. It says, for you shall be remembered of him that bought these things upon you. For as it was your mind to go astray from the most high, so being returned, seek him ten times more. For he that bought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. And Esau's getting jacked up, man. And when this place is completely destroyed, we're going to have everlasting joy when we get into the kingdom, man. Because we ain't never going to have to deal with nothing like this again. And we're going to be able to execute vengeance upon our enemies. The Most High is going to grant us that, man. Verse 30 says, Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. And seeing the judgments coming upon Babylon the Great and Esau Edom, those are comforting, man. That proves that the Most High is, is dealing with us. And he's getting ready to destroy this place and establish the nation of Israel as the only ruling power of the earth. It says, For he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall. And who was the ones that afflicted us? You damn devils, man. Now look at the deplorable state that they're in. It's common to see an Edomite living in a tent, man. It's common to see an Edomite crawling out of a damn shanty town. You know? And a lot of these people can't even afford tents. So they, they, they make houses, makeshift houses out of tarps. <laughs> Who would have thought this would have happened to the, you know, the, the, the great Edomite, man? The, that, that wise old white man that was back in the 1800s, you know, spewing out all kind of scientific madness, man. You know, this this damn devil, the same devil, this nigga's living in a tent, man. He went from, you know, being the top person on earth to living in a tent. He's supposed to be the smartest person down here on the planet, man. Why you can't fix your economy? Why you can't figure out the housing situation, man? Why you can't fix it? But you're supposed to be such a smart guy, right? It says, miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall. And just like you rejoice... At our fall, you rejoice when you murdered us. We are rejoicing at the fact that Yahweh Shem Yahushua is bringing plagues upon you, man. All right. It says, miserable are the cities which thy children served, and our our children served all these cities. And that's why the heavenly Father's jacking it up. It says, miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy sons, and who put us in captivity. Babylon the Great, mainly. What is Yahabah Shemi Yahushai doing? He's making this place miserable, man. You're in a you're in a, a miserable state. And there's no way you can bounce back. Well, the name of the uh <laughs> the name of the video, the name of the segment is is Portland Dunn. Is that place finished as a city? It's finished, man, just like America's finished. The question you eating might should be asking, is America done? Is, is our kingdom finished? And the answer to that is yes. Your kingdom is done. <laughs> it says miserable are they that uh, afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall miserable are the cities which thy children serve that's the reason why these cities are getting jacked up because you put the so called negro latino and native american in captivity in these cities and Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is pissed off at that man so he's bringing judgment upon you the, real, the only reason why these cities are great is because you slaughtered so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and you put them in slavery, man. That's how you got your wealth. All right? It says, Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. These people are grieved out here, man. And wait till those missiles fly. You're going to really be grieved when that happens. It says, for I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. And why are these things happening? Because of your wickedness. This will be the last precept, and we'll close out on this. This is uh, Sirach 10 and 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, your wickedness, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. So that's what you see taking place. 
throughout this country, man. The reason why your cities are breaking down, the reason why you, you're you broke, you're poor, the reason why you're losing your houses, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is translating the kingdom. You losing your rulership and the Most High is transferring it right before your eyes to the nation of Israel. So with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh.